The Roland Sound Canvas is a very popular device for MS-DOS games that support general MIDI music. Unfortunately, it's not cheap. I had a look on eBay Australia and it seems they're selling for around 250 to 350 Australian dollars. But there is a more affordable way. In this video, I will show you how you can run a MIDI synthesizer on your smartphone. And then we're gonna connect it to a MS-DOS retro gaming PC. Here we have our retro gaming PC and our Roland Sound Canvas. We have a Creative Labs AWE64. This is the joystick port or game port and it also acts as an MPU 401 MIDI interface and that's what this is. And here we have a 3.5 millimeter audio cable which goes into the line in connector. Now you're usually better off using the ports at the back, but for the purpose of showing this in the video, it's easier if I use the front ports. So here is the headphone port. That's where the general MIDI music will come out. And we're gonna use the 3.5 millimeter cable to connect to the line in of the sound card. So the general MIDI music and the sound blaster effects will get mixed together. And here we have the MIDI out. So this is the MIDI signal coming from the retro gaming PC, goes into the MIDI input of the sound canvas and then it can play music. And now instead of using the sound canvas, we will connect a smartphone and we need a few adapters. The first one is we need one of these. This is a USB OTG or USB on the go. My phone uses USB type C. So you just plug it in here and this gives us a USB port. Then we need a USB flash drive with uh, SF2 sound fonts. So basically sound fonts in the SF2 file format. We need an app. It is called uh, Fluid Synth MIDI. It is free. Um, you can pay for a full version. I haven't quite figured out what the full version offers. Everything I'm showing in the video is with the free version. And basically uh, you can then import uh, sound font files uh, through the USB port. But there is more. We need a MIDI joiner. This is what this looks like. It lets you connect uh, MIDI devices with two male plugs. And then we unplugging the MIDI out into our MIDI joiner. And the headphone port goes of course into our mobile phone and almost there we need one more device we need one of these this is a USB MIDI interface so on one end we have a USB port so we plug that into our smartphone and we can now say uh, input port not connected we're clicking here and we can see it picks up our USB device just fine. And we're almost done. To summarize, MIDI out goes into the joiner. So this carries the signal from the retro gaming PC, goes into the MIDI input of the USB MIDI interface, and we are good to go. And here's the finished project. So the MIDI cable goes from the sound card into the MIDI out, then into the joiner. MIDI in of the USB MIDI interface which uses the USB OTG adapter into the smartphone and then the audio out goes through a 3.5 millimeter cable into the line in of your sound card. I recorded some screen captures on the smartphone. Here you can see that I'm loading various SF2 sound fonts. It does support sound font uh, stacking so you can use the Weeds GM3 and the Weeds GM4 update. Um, it can handle large sound fonts, for example, Timbers of Heaven loaded just fine. You can also change the polyphony and of course uh, configure the gain. So if the, uh, if the signal is too strong for your line input, you can just reduce the gain in the app. And we have control over reverb and chorus. I found 
by default the settings are a little bit too strong and yeah you can turn off reverb and chorus if you like a, a dry uh, sound but you can tweak it to your liking I tried the two MIDI interfaces that I have. Unfortunately, the Roland UM1 Mark II did not work. Um, it looks like it doesn't have the drivers to support this product. I have contacted the creators of Fluid Synth MIDI. Unfortunately, I didn't hear back, so that's actually not a good sign. I'm hoping that in time they might uh, include drivers for the Roland UM1. In the end of the day, the cheap USB media adapters that you can find on Amazon, AliExpress, eBay and so on. They worked just fine. They just need a generic driver that most operating systems have integrated. And to make sure that everything is working, I basically played various games for around an hour and yeah it sounded really really good you can also use Bluetooth to connect your phone to a Bluetooth speaker but then you can't mix the sound effects coming out from your sound blaster so by using the line in cable uh, that gets mixed together with the onboard mixer of the sound card you can also use an external mixer uh, then you have more control over the balances but using the line input worked just fine for me and then the real fun is trying out different sound fonts with different games. Arachno is a really good one for Doom, for example, but there are so many others you can try. And yeah, uh, it sounds really good. Modern smartphones have good audio outputs and uh, in terms of sound quality, noise, hiss and anything like that, no complaints. This is a really high-end audio solution. Yeah guys, and that's pretty much the gist of this project. So down below in the video description, I will make a list and some affiliation links if you want to buy some of these parts to make this project happen and try it out on your phone. I believe a similar MIDI uh, synthesizer is available on Apple devices. I use Android, so I don't know exactly what you need, but I'm pretty sure something similar exists for Apple devices. And now I have a few recordings of a few games with different sound fonts. So I will put the name of the game and the sound font down below. So yeah, take a listen. Let me know what you think. Uh, we have done MIDI emulator projects in the past using tablets and old laptops, even thin clients. But everyone these days has a smartphone and they've got very good processors, lots of storage. They can easily handle uh, MIDI synthesizers uh, without bogging down the CPU too much. And I didn't notice any issues with lag or anything like that. So um, yeah, and these MIDI adapters are fairly cheap, maybe 20 Australian dollars or something like that. And then you just need the MIDI joiner. Um, you probably already have the MIDI cable coming out of the sound card. Maybe not, they are also available. Either way, I will put some links down below in the video description. And yeah, listen to the games. Let me know what you think of this project. And yeah, maybe it is something that you can try out. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you soon with another one.